God's message to you today is that your latter days are going to be much greater than your former. In the book of Haggai, we read in chapter 2, verse 9, that the latter days will be greater than the former days. And God is going to move in a mighty way. You may look back at your life and say, well, my life hasn't been so bad. My life has been pretty good. But what God is about to do is he's about to make your latter days even greater. He's about to take you places you never dreamt possible. He's about to bring you through breakthrough and bring you through things that you've been seeking and trying to figure out for so long. He's about to land you in opportunities that you never thought that you could land in. He's about to bring your family members to the knowledge and saving grace of Jesus Christ and save your whole household. He's about to rain down salvation upon your family and break family curses and generational curses that have plagued your family for so long. And God is about to break you out of that and he's about to break that down and tear that down and bring you into a new place god is about to do great and mighty things if you're just letting you need to trust him you need to trust his word you need to believe his promises what god is about to do is beyond the ordinary and if you want god to do extraordinary things in your life you must obey him in doing the ordinary things. The ordinary things like seeking his face and praying and getting into the word of God and obeying him when he's called you to a purpose and when he's called you to a mission. When you do these things, God's going to show up in a big way. The things that you've walked through, those that you may have said were pretty good, he's about to make great. Those things in your past that maybe you said, um, I don't know how I'm going to get through this. He's going to bring you on the other side and show you how you got through this. He's about to turn sickness into health. He's about to turn poverty into wealth. He's about to turn your circumstances and all your tests into great testimonies. God is about to show up and do a great thing. He's about to do a great thing in our world with all the bad news, with all the issues facing our society today, with all the war, with all the chaos. God's about to take all of these things and turn them around for our good. And God is about to do a great and mighty thing in this world. He's about to rapture his people. He's about to come back and he's about to take over and transform this world into his kingdom. I want to be a part of that. I know you want to be a part of that. And right now we need to do something that we have neglected to do for so long. And that is we need to get on our knees and we need to trust God in a new way. And we need to seek God's face like we've never sought him before. And we need to believe that God is about to do a great and mighty thing for us. He's about to do great and mighty works in our life. He's about to do things with our children. He's about to show up right when we thought Satan had taken over. God's getting ready to do a great and mighty thing. And he's telling us and he's prophesied over us that our kids will not die on drugs. Our kids will not give way to all of the corruption and all of the evil and sin that is being introduced to them. But he says our sons and our daughters will prophesy. God's about to do a mighty thing. I want him to change my household. And I know you do as well. Receive this word in Jesus' name.